This is a short video detailing the differences in cytokinesis between plants and animal cells. Uh, many of the things when it comes to the process of mitosis is the same with both plant and animal cells, but cytokinesis works a little bit differently because plant cells have an extra piece that animal cells don't. They're dealing with the uh, cell wall as well as the cell membrane. So if you remember going from telophase in plant cells where we've got the two nuclei starting to reform, we've got this little thing called the cleavage furrow forming in between what's eventually going to be the two cells. Uh, now once we get into cytokinesis, that's when the cells actually pinch in half and you end up with two daughter cells at the end of the process. This step is relatively quick and simple in animal cells. In plant cells, things get a little bit more complex because of the cell wall. So we blow this one up and take a look at it. Um, anaphase still pretty much looks the same. Remember the word we're associating with anaphase is apart. So this is where the chromosomes are pulled apart to either pole of the cell. The thing that begins to happen then during telophase is that vesicles, and if you remember vesicles from our chapter on cells, those are the things that are coming from the Golgi apparatus that carry cell products. They're coming uh, and they're filled with what are called cell wall components. The cell wall in plant cells is made out of something called cellulose, and these vesicles are going to start to build up a cellulose barrier. The thing that uh, this is called, this is referred to as the cell plate on the inside there. So that's one thing that's not in this diagram that we're going to add in. But the cell plate is this barrier that begins to form from the materials in those vesicles. Um, then it says the vesicles fuse, forming a new cell wall. You can see it happening there. And then during cytokinesis in plant cells, that new cell wall is complete. The cell is completely divided. And I like the way this picture portrays things. It does a very good job of showing the chromosomes. Uh, in this stage, they're still chromosomes, but here they're starting to decondense back into the chromatin. And also, you can see the dashed nucleus in this stage becoming even closer to being a fully reformed in the last picture there, representing cytokinesis where the cells divide. So this picture does a very good job filling in a lot of those important details. Uh, to make it simple, all you really need to know with the difference between the two is the whole concept of the cell plate and that extra step that needs to be taken just because plants have the cell wall to develop as well as the cell membrane that uh, we're seeing in animal cells. So as always, uh, thank you for watching and I hope you learned something.